In this set of notes, we're going to talk about another important concept. One of the economic principles that we've discussed is, is the idea that trade makes people better off. So we're going to talk a little bit about trade in this set of notes and how and why trade makes people better off. So first off, as we've already learned, people have unlimited wants. We always want more of things, but resources are scarce, right? Resources are limited. Uh, that forces people to make choices, right? They have to make trade-offs. If I pick one thing, then I'm not getting something else. And that's really what economics is, is you know, how and why do people choose what they choose? Well, one limited resource that we've talked about is time, right? There's only but so much time in a day, right? Um, whether you work four hours a day or eight hours a day or 10 hours a day, right? The work day is only but so long. And so when you spend time producing one thing, then you're not using that time to produce something else, right? There's a trade-off, okay? If you're going to make TVs, then you're not using that time to make computers, for example. So a model that economists use uh, to, to try to show trade-offs and, and how much you might be able to make of something in comparison to making something else is called a production possibility frontier or a PPF. And a production possibility frontier is a line graph that just basically shows how you could uh, use your resources to make two different goods. And so it shows all these different combinations on a line of how those goods might be produced. So we're going to use a, a real simple example to try to illustrate this. And it uses uh, the fictional character Robinson Crusoe, who is, uh, you know, stranded on a desert island. And so let's say Robinson Crusoe on this stranded desert island um, can use his time to produce either coconuts, gathering coconuts from the trees, or he can use that time to catch fish. So here is a pretty simple PPF for Robinson Crusoe. Over the course of a day, he could catch up to 40 fish. Or he could use his time gathering up to 40 coconuts. Or he could have some combination of the two. Maybe he wants to gather 30 coconuts. Well, then he can only have enough time to catch 10 fish. Or if he wants 20 coconuts, he'll have enough time to catch 20 fish, right? So that red line shows what Robinson Crusoe is able to produce of either coconuts or fish. So we would say his productivity is, you know, 40 coconuts per day or 40 fish per day or some combination on the line. Now that's great, he's by himself, but we're talking about trade here. So to illustrate how and why trade helps people and makes people better off, we need to add in another castaway, right? Someone else on the desert island that Robinson could maybe trade with, okay? So his name is Jim Hawkins, and here's Jim Hawkins' PPF. Now we have two people on the PPF. The blue line is Robinson Crusoe. That's the one we just looked at. And now the new red line here, that's this guy Hawkins. Now you can see Hawkins, maybe he's, he's younger, he's more energetic, right? He's able to do more. He can produce more fish up to 60 in a day, and he can gather up to 120 coconuts in a day. So he's much more productive. Now, these two guys are on the island, and they have a choice to make. They can either stick to themselves and gather what they're able to gather on their own, or 
they can trade. Now, as you can see, Hawkins has an advantage here. He has what's called an absolute advantage. He can get more fish, he can get more coconuts, and you might say, well, it would be silly for Hawkins to trade. He can't benefit. But that's not quite right. So if Hawkins is better at gathering coconuts and he's better at catching fish, then why should he trade with Robinson Crusoe? And the answer is something called comparative advantage. Crusoe has a comparative advantage in catching fish. If we look at the graph again, we can see Hawkins is definitely better, okay? He's better at catching fish, but he's way better at gathering coconuts, okay? So when you compare the two in terms of their ability to catch fish or their ability to gather coconuts, it's clear that Hawkins is way better at gathering coconuts than Crusoe is, and he's just kind of better at catching fish than Crusoe is. So economists call that a comparative advantage. And that's important to understand because that's going to show us why when these two guys trade with each other, they can both come out ahead. So let's take a look at a chart showing production. If they decide not to trade with each other, they're going to produce, let's use these, these, these would be on the lines. Uh, Crusoe can do 20 coconuts and 20 fish. Hawkins, he could gather 90 coconuts and catch 15 fish. So those are their totals if they choose not to trade with each other. Now let's say they do decide to trade with each other. Crusoe has a comparative advantage at catching fish. So he's just going to catch fish. Hawkins has an advantage in gathering coconuts. So he's just going to gather coconuts. If they spend all their time on that one activity, Crusoe can catch 40 fish and Hawkins can gather 120 coconuts. Then let's say they decide to trade. If Hawkins trades 25 of his coconuts to Crusoe in exchange for 17 fish, look what happens. Now, if we compare, now they both have coconuts and fish, but if we compare their numbers after they traded, then if they hadn't traded, they both come out ahead. All right? They both come out ahead. They both gain five coconuts by trading. And they each gain a couple of fish as well. Right? So this is just kind of a simple example, but hopefully it kind of makes sense that if you specialize in making something and then trade for other things, everyone's better off. Okay? And that's really the key point here. People are better off if they specialize at something they're good at and then trade for the other things that they need. Everyone can come out ahead. All right, on the last page of this set of notes that goes with this video, there's a couple of concept review questions. Please answer those uh, before you check in with me.